Hi gang, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Ed Makes, and in this episode I'll be making a skull candy bowl. Now the bowl isn't made out of candy, was that implied? If it was, uh, th it's made from glass. But you can put candy in it, along with some color changing lights, and the lights will show through the skulls. Really awesome effect. You can find the supplies and basic directions, and even the color formula for some of it in the description down below. And you can also find a link up here, around there somewhere, of a previous video that shows, that describes in detail how to cut the faces off so that you get this kind of strange effect. Because you can see it's like the direct face and side of the face and top of the face embedded in this material. And then you can put lights on them. You put all these projects together into something really, really terrifying. <laughs> Uh, this is kind of terrifying, but when there's candy inside, you're kind of like, mm, but there's candy in it. Isn't that awesome? I love this project. It was so much fun, and uh, you can do it in a day. Just be really careful when you're cutting these faces off. You don't want to cut your, cut your thumb off. Uh, you don't want to turn this scary project into a real scary thing. And uh, the skulls, the glue doesn't want to stick to the glass really well. So you want to just pile it on. And it's okay because it's going to texture the edge where the glass and the plastic skull meet. And it's going to create a nice effect later on. So uh, I used eight of them just for some uniformity and uh, arranged them so that it had this kind of a randomness look to it. And then just kind of in a very methodical way, just go around and glue them all on and uh, putting little veins and stuff of glue, making it look like it's like tissue texture and uh, just kind of gruesoming it up. If that's a word, gruesoming, that's a word now. Now from the inside, it looks really cool because the faces are inverted. And if you, I put the camera inside once I had it all covered and showed the faces from inside. It's so awesome. You probably, you find a picture of that on my Instagram. I uploaded it because I just thought it was neat looking. This uh, stuff that I'm using, this is joint compound. You can get it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, pretty inexpensive. You don't need a whole lot of it. I added just a little bit of water to make it uh, a creamier so that it would go into the little creases and the crevices. And I textured it with this sponge. And kind of, I, I wanted, some of it was a little creamier than other parts. So I just wanted to make sure that it was pretty uniform all throughout and even though I tried there was still some of it that was a little softer than the other part when it's set up so just kind of be mindful that you want to get this mixed up really well so that it's all the same consistency and then once that's uh, set up a little bit it doesn't have to dry completely but you do want it to harden so that you can go over it with the sponge you can see on the top left there I went over it with the sponge and knocked off the points and the the excess where it had dried into like an edge. I broke the, all those little edges off and smoothed it up a little bit and before I colored it. And now I'm going over it with the, the red kind of a wash and it's really, really dark. I mean, there's a lot of color in here that I use so that it, even though it is a wash, it's uh, a dark wash. So I use uh, the black in the in-between spaces and the red right around uh, the skulls so it kind of looks like they're erupting through this I-Core, if that's a word. Is that a word? I-Core? I-Core? Does anyone know? Uh, and then uh, to get it to blend, I just, uh, just a really light, damp sponge brush and let it run down. And then that lightens the edges. It takes the intensity down a little bit and it blends everything really nicely. So you get this kind of, it almost looks like it's burnt, like it's been in a fire. And once that dries, it will, it'll lighten up and it'll dull. So uh, you want it to be really intense, even almost <laughs> too intense. So that by the time it dries, it still has a lot of that, that same color. So uh, once it's dried, you can see it, it has lightened up. The reds had turned to pink because they've mixed with the gesso has really taken up a lot of that color. So I go back through with a brighter, thicker, red this is watercolors that i've mixed the formula for this is in the description and i'm just kind of filling in all the pink so that there there's an intensity in the center of it and then it uh, lightens up towards the edge and then to top it off i 
I kind of changed horses in the middle of this race here because I was going to make these black veins going all over it. But then once I realized it looked like it was running out of the skull's mouth, I thought, that's gross. <laughs> so I went with it. So at the very beginning of it, I kind of was going sideways and really didn't want to go sideways. Here I accidentally dropped a big glob of black paint, so I made the lines thicker than what they needed to be. <laughs> I, I kind of messed up on that, but I made the best of it. You know, it's a happy mistake. So there's the sideways vein that now I got to change it somehow into stuff leaking out. And I think I kind of did it. Anyway, that could go toward the back. <laughs> the borders toward the top i kind of wanted to make like make it look like it was a level of hell like there was dirt or ground above and dirt and ground below and then in between was this expanse of like people like the skulls and that i know it's gruesome you don't want to be inside my head it's it's a it was a it's a dark place for the average person for me it's just it is what it is so i keep working the black in there kind of blending it and, and giving it a nice gradient, taking it up and making it pop, making these skulls really pop. And that's from the outside in, in broad daylight. But this is going to principally be viewed at night with lights on the inside. So you're not going to get a whole lot of this color detail and stuff on the outside. You will get a little bit of it, like the, the black running out of the skulls. The, the reason why that's so stark, so it'll show up when there's like dim light on the outside but that's what it looks like in bright light and here's what it looks like with some light on the outside and the color changing leds turned on on the inside the green ones look just possessed <laughs> isn't that cool i really like this project and i hope you guys will give this a try uh, let me know what you think in the comments below if you like this video be sure to give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you haven't hit the bell if you haven't and until next time take care